All right, so uh, here is Goodnight Butterfly. It is a companion to the very impatient caterpillar. So, you know how caterpillars become butterflies? I do believe that is the story before this one. So, you should definitely check it out. It is by Rosh, Ross, um, Barach, Barak, something like that. B U R A C H. So, good night, butterfly. And I'm wide awake. Oh, look at this beautiful butterfly. Purple and blue and yellow and pink and blue spots and green buddy with orange. Well, it's time to go to bed, butterfly. Mm-hmm. Sleeping very important. Oh, poor little butterfly. Can't sleep. Oh. Alrighty. Good night, butterfly. Munch, 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 munch is this little friend here. Is it a porcupine? It's got spikes. I guess we'll have to see in the story. I do not think the butterfly is liking that noise. What do you think? Mm-mm. So, it's by Raj, Ross, Burak, Burach, published by Scholastic Press, New York. Hey, what is all that noise? It woke me up. Oh, eyes are all buzzle, 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 buzzle. Sorry, just eating breakfast. And the moon is out. Eating breakfast. <gasps> breakfast? You do know it's nighttime. I'm nocturnal. I know you're not a turtle. No, 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 no. No, nocturnal. Awake at night, asleep all day. Right, right. I, I, I knew that. Wait. Does that? Does that mean you do everything opposite? Hmm? Hmm? These are little question marks. He's thinking about it. He's got his little hand on his mouth. He's got a hmm, maybe. Hmm. Well, not necessarily everything, but the day is different. They're awake at night and asleep at day, during the day. Some animals are diurnal. That means that they're awake during the day. And they're asleep at night. And some are, I believe it's crepsical. Crepsal? I, I'm i probably saying it wrong, but the, it means that they're only really awake and active at the at, at dawn, so when day's starting, or at evening when the day's ending. That's pretty much actually what kitty cats are. So they're mostly awake at the beginning and the end of the day. They sleep a lot during it. That's one of the reasons why at 4 a.m. your kitty cats go dum, 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 through the house. Because the animals that they like to eat most go dum, 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 as well at that time. That's how they evolved. Boop, 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 ba -doo. All right, so, hold on. We got some questions that Butterfly has to ask. Does a nocturnal animal do everything opposite of the day animals? Hmm, does the night animals do different from the mating animals? Let's see what the questions are. Do you say hello instead of goodbye? Hello, I'm leaving. Goodbye, I'm here. No. Are you scared of the light? Oh no, it's too bright. Oh, no. no. Do you wear shoes on your head and hats on your feet? No. I love the little pink hat. It's so cute. And that's a giant shoe. But, so most creatures, most people, are afraid of the dark. Not because of it by itself, but because they don't know what's in the dark. Is there something scary hiding? So, being afraid of the light's unlikely. But the light might be too bright for their eyes. Just like when... You're sleeping and someone says, here, maybe your adult says, a bright light, wake up. And you go, oh, my eyes, owie, owie. That's what a nocturnal animal thinks about the light. It's not scary. It just my heart is too bright. Do you at least get 
to eat dessert before your vegetables? No, I'm just awake at night. Okay, no more questions. Back to sleep. Good night, butterfly. Eating their wood and trees. Oh my goodness. Uh, butterflies are a very excitable friend, aren't they? Look at all of the words coming out of their mouths. So many words. Notice their friend they're talking to doesn't even get a reply. Let's see here. I can't sleep. I have so many questions. Have you ever seen a shooting star? What did you wish for? Looking through a telescope. I'd wish for it to rain jelly beans. Look at all the colors. We got orange and red and another orange and green and pink and blue. Oh, and white and brown. And there's sparkly ones down here and pink and blue and purple. Oh my goodness. Okay. Have you ever seen a cow jumping over the moon, like in the nursery rhyme? Can cows even jump? They can, not that high, though. Are you friends with fireflies? Mm -hmm. I think Butterfly wants to be friends with fireflies. All right. What's your favorite thing about nighttime? What? What? Ha, 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 ha. Uh, <laughs> they're so excited and they're a little they, do they look happy to be asked all these questions I think they look a little scared they're, 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 their mouth is wide open their eyes are wide open you can't even see their eye well here's an eyebrow they're, they're, ooh, they're a little, little overwhelmed it's lovely that butterfly has lots of questions it really cares but it's a little it's a little much. Sometimes we just need to <sighs> calm down because we're scared people. We're start they they don't got a chance to answer. The quiet. Right, right. I love the quiet. Helps me sleep. It is very quiet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do we, Butterfly does not seem to be really exemplifying being an example of quiet right now, though, huh? Mm -mm. Ah, the quiet. It sure is. It's quiet. It's too quiet. What was that noise? And, and that. The quiet is scary. I'll never fall back asleep. Aw, he's scared. There's a lot of noises that you wonder what they are, but it's okay. I'll stay here until you do. See, look, our friend's gonna make sure they know it's safe. And they'll be okay. It's alright. You can go to sleep, even if there's noises. You don't always know what noises are, but if you have someone there to help and protect you, or maybe, depending on what the noise is, even checking it out, just knowing what it is can help. Things like houses, they make noises as they rest and adjust during the day. The heat of the sun makes them expand, and the cool of the night makes them contract, which means kind of squishing. So there's lots of noises that houses make. And all kinds of things. Like a choo-choo train in the distance. Or just nighttime animals being awake. Alright. Now just close your eyes. I can't. Butterflies don't have eyelids. Then how will I know when you're asleep? I won't answer when you ask. Got it. Mm. I think I was thinking about it. Mm, yes, our friend here is thinking about it. Mm. Their one eyes look kind of squinty. They're, they're, 
See, when you're not sure, you ask questions, right? Psst, butterfly, are you asleep? Still awake. Asleep. Awake. Asleep. Not even awake. When I can't sleep, nothing comforts me more. Than a good book. Oh, good morning, sun. Instead of good night, moon. How cute. Great idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, is a, is a book supposed to be a bed? Usually not, but okay, let's try, let's try. Eh, these pages are too scratchy. I'm using it as a blanket, oh my. So we're sleeping on top of it. Not enough thorax support. I guess thorax is supposed to be the neck here, right? This works quite cozy. All right, you sleeping under the book? Pfft. Squish. Oh no, the book fell on him. I have to say though, this is not good for the spine of a book, so don't store books like this. Because the spine is the part right here where all the pages are attached. Because if you do it like this way, sometimes they'll come unattached. It's not very good for the book. Never mind, this book is not comforting. But that's not what you do with books. You don't sleep in them. You read them, silly butterfly. Who needs to sleep at night? Anyway, there's so much I miss. I'll just be nocturnal, too. Mm, you don't get to decide that you're nocturnal. But, I mean, humans have what's called third shift. Where they work at night, some of them, and sleep during the day. So, so you know, I guess it's, it's possible. Especially since you're a talking butterfly. This will be great. We will become best buds. I've got big plans for us. Can I borrow a quill? Yoink. Thanks. Scribble, 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 scribble. Ink. Oh, we got a long list for scribbling here. Oh, it is a porcupine. Okay. So, what do you think? All right. Let's see what's on this list, huh? Let me see. Butterfly and porcupine's big plans list. BNFS. Best nocturnal friends forever. All right. So, we got a big checklist here. We got Movies under the stars. Ooh, nice, nice. Game night. Mm hmm. 10,000 piece puzzle. Ooh, that's a lot of pieces. 10,000. Build a fort. Nice. Karaoke. Well, that might be a little bit loud for other people. Karaoke is where you sing. You sing, I've been dreaming of. Da. You know, to uh, for whatever song. A sticker album. Okay, okay. Book club. Well, I mean, you tried sleeping on a book instead of reading it. But, you know, it, it, you know dreams there right ideas drum lessons eh, I mean nocturnal you're supposed to be kind of quiet crafting okay you can be crafting well quiet improv it's like um it's like acting you be improvisational you make it up as you go along big cookies well I don't have an oven but sure play superheroes that sounds like fun there's some other things hide and seek okay all right I think we need to get you back to sleep. Yeah, I think butterflies are a little intense for porcupine. Oh my goodness. Do you think that he wants, the butterfly wants to go back to sleep? Mm -mm. Let's see what butterfly's got to say. <gasps> but I'm not tired. I want to be an eternal. My antennae, boing, boing, are alert. What makes you think I need sleep? Because you're being cranky, that's what. Mm-hmm. Because when you are hungry, when you are tired, when you are sad, those all make you cranky. You're talking to a pine cone. You're right. I do need sleep. But how? Yep, see, so you make silly mistakes and get confused when you're really tired. Oh, butterfly's wings are all droopy. What do you do when you need to go to sleep? Hmm? 
Let's see what Porcupine suggests. Find your calm. Oh, that's a good suggestion. Find it? Where? Was it inside my chrysalis? No, it's inside your mind. Think calming thoughts. Right, right. Calming thoughts. Think calming thoughts. Like the calming scent of flowers? Yes. So things that you like. So butterfly likes flowers. The sun on my wings? Oh, that's something else butterfly likes. Yes. What else? Oh, things that butterfly likes. Sounds good. The peaceful palette of springtime. Oh, look. That is quite a paintbrush to be painting. A beautiful springtime. The soothing sounds of hummingbirds. Hummingbirds actually make a very buzzy sound. They don't, I mean, these are music notes, so maybe the hummingbirds to, to a butterfly are like... Yawn. What else? This butterfly. Are you awake? Let's see. Butterfly does not have eyelids, so we can't tell. <laughs> oh, he's snoring. Falling away. Back to my breakfast. Mm hmm. <laughs> What is all that snoring? It woke us up. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> Poor porcupine. Now he's got one, two, three, four, five, six more butterflies awake to help try and get back to sleep. Goodness. <sighs> all right. So, this book is dedicated to Tracy, Mar Margica, and Ben for keeping Butterfly flying. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. So, let's see here. Art directed and designed by um, Margica Kostu and edited by Tracy Mack. And... This one was published in 2022. Boom. Thank you for listening to Good Night Butterfly by Ross Ross Berg. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for listening and you have a great night.